Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today we've got first impressions of five classic type fragrances that I've recently picked up. So all five of these fragrances are either classics or based on classics or within that barbershop style fougere range. So we'll kick in with the very first one and this is one which I've kicked myself I haven't got it sooner to be fair and it's 4711 by 4711 the house of 4711. Um, I've had this a while and I've been sitting on it and not opened it yet. Um, it doesn't come in any cellophane which is a bit of a, a shocker and I know you can get these much bigger at quite a cheap price but I think I paid about £4 for this. As you can see it's got the 4711, it's got the year it was established which was 1792 and it's got some details about the clone on the side and details on the other two sides and then a barcode on the bottom but it's a nice colour greeny blue like an aqua and then it's got some gold lettering embossed on it which looks really nice so this is what the bottle looks like now I know you can get these in like 200 ml bottles and because it's like a type of splash on sort of thing people tend to go for those because they last a lot longer but it's a 50 ml it doesn't look like 50 mil it doesn't look very big and it's an eau de cologne so let's try and get into it as you can see it's got 4711 on the top and you can see the seal hasn't been broke so let's try and get into this so i'll just have a quick whiff Reminds me of something straight away. So it's not a sprayer, obviously. I'll be using this after a shave, splash on. Let's give it a smell. So it's got lots of citruses, but it's got like um, neroli in there as well. Citruses, what could I say? Lemon, bergamot, orange, I might even have lime, it might like have the whole bundle. It's got an oak moss vibe, it's a bit vetery, <laughs> a bit vetery, a bit vetivery, if that's even a word. There's woods in there, there's a bit of um, a few aromatics in there, like basil maybe that's really nice and that's that's really really refreshing I'm going to enjoy using that for sure so on to the next one and this is one which I have had a sample of this before Scott the Centurion sent me a sample but it was a long time ago and I forgot I'd got it um, and then I'd seen him doing I think it was the so many fragrances under a certain amount and this was included in there so i had a look and i managed to get it for like 25 pounds something like that and it's milano cento him and this is the edt i know they've now released an edp but i've got the original one the edt so this once again is a 50 mil and when you look at this 50 mil and the other one which is 50 mil you'll see the difference in the size but this is the box really nice marble effect on there i love the little roman statue head it's got some details on the back ingredients nothing going on on the top apart from this marble effect marble effect and then a barcode on the bottom 
So when I tried it, when Scott sent me the sample, I thought, yeah, I like that. But for one reason or another, I never got round to getting it. And that is the bottle. It looks gorgeous, real classic style. Love the black cap on it, which is like a, a brushed steel. Well, it's like a dark chrome, isn't it? Really nice. And it's got the Milano Cento on the front. Nothing else going on anywhere else. And as I was saying, you, you compare the size of this bottle to that one, and they don't look as if they're both 50 mils. So let's open this one up. So it's a plastic cap. It looked like a, a brushed chrome. It is quite heavy, to be fair, but it is plastic. So let's give this a spray. So it's a very wide sprayer, but it wasn't covering it very well. Oh God, that is so good. So this is even better than I remember from the sample. That smells so good. It's got a citrus feel to it, but it's a much lighter citrus. Straight away you're getting lavender. There's cloves in there, which I really enjoy. Bit of sandalwood, bit of rosemary maybe. Really nice, really, really nice. I would say this is more of an all year round signature sort of scent. Whereas the 4711 I would say is more of a spring, summer. Or just straight after a shave to be fair. So on to the next one. And this is one that Dan, Mr. Smelly, mentioned quite a while ago. Uh, I picked it up and you can get this really cheap. Um, and I just thought it was interesting, like everything about it just looked interesting. And it comes in a tin. And it's fasonable, I think it's the way it's pronounced. And this is an eau de toilette and it's 100 ml. As you can see, it comes in a tin, but I'm a little bit worried because it's it's making a bit of noise when I shake it. So I'm hoping it's not damaged. That's probably the easiest opening that we've had so far. So as you can see from the tin, gorgeous tin. It's got all the details on there. It's got it in the top. And then it's got the made in France and all the other details. Nothing going on on the bottom. So let's crack into it and see what's going on. Ah, it is actually in place. It's kept in place by some plastic. So all is not lost. So let's fetch this out. So this, how good does that look? <laughs> that looks amazing. I am really chuffed with how good that looks. Um, so on the cap it looks like it's got a bit which comes out and then it's held on by a little piece of string i'm just wondering how this is going to open i don't want to break it ah. so i was a bit uncertain whether this bit where the string is was needed to come off but no the cap does come off and then you've got your sprayer so now we've got a bit hanging and banging against the side not the best but it is a different sort of bottle something different to what you normally see so let's give this one a try oh that is a much better sprayer much better than the milano cento it like it seems like it's a pressurized sprayer which i always think they're a lot better so let's smell this one so this is a bit more, how do I describe it? I would say it's a bit more minty. More florals in there. I can get a hint of rose. I 
I think there's some jasmine in here. It's quite musky. There's some nice bits in it. I really, really like that. That's different. That's really different. Nice one, Dan. So the last two, and these are both by Executive Shaving. Now they don't come in a box, they come just straight in the bottle, which surprised me a little bit, but they was well packaged. And the first one is called Dwin Fon Choyul, and it's an aftershave splash, and it's 100 mil. So let's crack into this one. So it's just a, I better have a look at the front first. So as you can see from the front, there's a lovely lady on the front in the green and white. You've got the executive shaving. You've got the name of the fragrance, Dwin Fon Choyol. And then next to it, it's got Outlaw in brackets. And this being an aftershave splash, and it's 100 mil. So let's try these. So it's difficult putting these onto a strip. That's typical old school aftershave. Really nice. It's got a citrus feel to it. It's got bergamot, lemon, lime again. Real refreshing. But it does have that old school barbershop feel to it. With the lavender and the oak moss. I'm going to enjoy using that as a splash on. Really going to enjoy that. Now, reading the comments on the website for that one, they reckon the performance is really good and it's not like an aftershave splash performance. So, I'll be interested to give that a go and see how long it lasts. So, the next one is Nevis. And once again, it says it's an aftershave cologne this time. Yeah, the other one was an aftershave splash. So looking at that, very similar sort of design. I really like the design. And it's got the details on the back with a similar cap. So the bottles are more or less the same, but with different badges. Now, I know that Matt from Pocket Sense has, had, has created this for executive shaving. Um, and he told me it's more of an eau de toilette and the performance on it so he recommended I try it so let's give it a go and he even recommended to decant it and to be able to spray it on because I know a lot of people don't like putting the splash on, especially if it's a strong fragrance. See now straight away you're getting the green Irish tweed vibe off this. So you've got the citruses, you've got the green, the grassy smell, the fresh aqua feel to it. So it's probably got lemon verbena in there, I think that's one of the main things, an ambergris, sandalwood, Definitely reminds me of green Irish tweed. That's really nice. And if that performs well, then that's gonna be an absolute cracker. So that's my haul. Those are the ones that I've picked up. Those are my first impressions of them. Let me know in the comments below if you tried these. Is there any classic or barbershop style fragrances that you can recommend to me? It is a genre that I really enjoy and I'm exploring it more and more. I've got some real good fragrances from that genre now and I'm always up for getting some good cheapies. So let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.